Okay, then this is a genuine reaction. Um, <clears throat> I was a huge fan of this album, Prisoners by the Agonist. I've done other videos on this amazing band. Whenever the lead singer, lead front woman, Alyssa, left the band, it killed two bands. It killed Arch Enemy and it killed the Agonist. Although the Agonist is doing just fine with Vicky, their new vocalist. Uh, they're doing a good job. Arch Enemy's doing just fine. It's just, yeah, for me personally, Angela should have just stuck to Arch Enemy. And Alyssa should have stuck to the Agonist. And we'd be fine. Anyway, um, yeah, the reason why I say this is a genuine reaction, because I'm assuming that this is a B-side or just like a, a bonus Japanese track or something. I, I've never, I've just never seen until last night when. I seen this on my recommended and I noticed the album cover and I'm like, really? Interesting. So uh I definitely want to hear this song because this album, Prisoners, is just like a it's something else. Twenty twelve, back then, twenty thirteen when I really dived into it, when I was doing my marathon running or marathon training. I trained for two hard years before I did my run, my marathon run, but I uh that race was crazy, but I listened to this album and a few other albums back to back while training. I was essentially a prisoner of my own mind, but I tried to break free. So I loved the entire album, but the song I didn't hear because it wasn't on it, or at least it wasn't on the uh, regular portion of the album. So did I miss out? I don't know. Let's see. Four minutes, 37 seconds. Let's go. So good already. It's already so good. She hasn't even started singing or screaming yet. It's so good. I did miss out, but we're here now. Better late than never. I'm into this already. How did I miss this? Hmm. Production's great.
Oh, it's almost over. I was expecting the transitions. Pretty cool Streamline song. Good riffs, good drums, good production, good vocals. I can kind of understand, well, maybe it's because I'm so used to hearing the other songs, but it kind of doesn't sound like it's on the album. It's different, if that makes sense. Maybe, again, maybe it's just because I listened to the entire album several, 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 several times that it just doesn't fit. But, um, I don't know. It's hard to explain. Uh, what's this? Uh, somebody, I just posted this corn video and somebody already commented. Uh, two people commented, but how you doing, bro? If you fancy something corn with a hip hop vibe, try corn BBK or corn feature Nas. Playing. Interesting. I'm not really in the hip hop. Um, there's like, that's never mind. This, this is, this is the agonist reaction. We're not here to talk about that stuff, but I have a few rap songs on my channel. Anyway, um, yeah, definitely doesn't sound like it was on the Prisoner's album. Little sprinkles of it. Her vocals were awesome. Great growls. Great range with the growls. You know, the, and then, you know, like highs and lowers, but it's still a growl. She doesn't like do high screams, but she'll like make her growls expand, if that makes sense. Um, and then her clean vocals are just top notch all the time. So much vocal versatility and range with everything that she does. So it's just, it's tragic how being an arch enemy, just nope, no cleans, no cleans at all, which is fine, but then have somebody else who is good, a female fronted death guttural, death growl, whatever vocals, join them so she can shine with what she's good at. And that's both. Oh, wait, we had that. It was the agonist. <sighs> anyway, as always, guys, may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you. Have a good day. I'll see you in the next video. And I'm out.